Hey everybody, it's MJ from Just Plain Fun, and this video is going to be kind of a recap. It's going to be a trip report from the Peach Meet. So if you're not familiar, the Midwestern Tool Collectors Association, first weekend of every February, they get together in Madison, Georgia, and it's kind of a regional meet. And if you are anywhere in the Southeast or really anywhere in the U.S., it is worth going to this meet. I'm going to show you everything that I picked up while I was down there and maybe go into some detail on some of the particular items. And remember, patrons, you got first crack at everything except for the items that I specifically bought for a customer somewhere in the world. So without further ado, let's dive in. Y'all are in for a treat because, boy, I picked up some nice stuff. All of these items that you're looking at were purchased for specific customers. So some of these folks I was talking to, you know, live on location. So the PT Ampia books one and two, those are going to Australia. The scraper is going to Europe. And if you think that's exotic, the scrub plane soles are going to Illinois. No, for real. And y'all know Justin Spaulding, if you're on Facebook, that B casting 140 body he's been looking for. There you go. And then that 05, the, excuse me, the Ohio 05. Well, that's going out to California. These were some of the more interesting finds. There was another dealer there that was selling Rosewood Totes intact original for the lowest price I've ever seen rosewood totes of this caliber sell for so naturally i bought as many as i could and the same dealer had all this frog hardware and it was getting late on day two and he ended up selling me all of this for just one flat fee that i will keep to myself but that's a lot of laterals some frog screws a lot of yokes aka y adjusting levers and i've got some type 5 as well as some type 6 and 7 laterals in there so the ones with three patent dates that are actually kind of hard to find. And I know there's a few of y'all that are out there looking for those three patent date laterals. So let's chat. A lot of these planes I actually picked up on the first day within the first hour. So on Friday during the tailgating, first thing in the morning. And if you know my business model, of course, I'm always looking for broken planes. So got that one. Looks like, well, that might be correct too. But anyway, I picked up as many broken planes as I could find. But they weren't all broken. Some of these were actually pretty decent and just the price was right. So I went ahead and picked them up. And number four will find a good home. This one was kind of an oddball. This was a type 11 sole. As you can see, three patent dates. But everything up top was much newer. And a lot of good parts there. But as you can see, it's got a nasty crack there along the cheek. And I think if I remember right, there was actually another little damage spot on there too. But definitely going to retire that sole and recover those good parts. This was another one right here. Unfortunately, got the old typical crack there on the corner of the mouth. So that one will make a good parts plane as well. And then a pair of Type 11 number 5s. And these are actually both pretty decent. Incidentally, if you see that little extra nib or whatever you want to call that extra dimple on a... Uh, lever cap you know that that's not an original stanley but these two type 11 number fives are actually in pretty decent shape and those will probably get cleaned up and sold just as they are a lot of these i bought from a gentleman that y'all might have heard of or you know uh pat leach or patrick leach was there the, of blood and gore fame if you're familiar with his online publication all about stanley tools and Steve McNulty was there, so if you're active on Facebook, you probably recognize that name as well. But this is a really decent number seven right here. And as you can see, it's got a hock blade in it. So I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with this one yet. It does have that big bite out of the horn of the tote there. But overall, this is a solid number seven. It's a solid project that probably just needs either keep that hock or maybe get an original blade in it. And then either get that tote repaired or maybe pull one of those newer new to me totes that i bought on there and this one was kind of trippy i was looking through stuff and first i bought this because i like that knob and i think that knob can be recovered and then when i went back later going through some different boxes from the same vendor i found i think with the other half of it so it's got a little decent tote on there it's got some damage but maybe that'll head down and get some repairs from good old greg down there or gordon definitely some good parts up top so some stuff that can definitely be recovered and returned to service. Go ahead and hit some highlights here. Had some good 45 blades, so I went ahead and picked up a lot of those smaller sizes because I'm out of those. 
these kind of meats are typically good for finding parts such as the old depth stops for a 78 there picked up some squirrel tails picked up this part from a number 55 from the tower assembly or the auxiliary tower of course some depth adjusters there some various lever caps picked up this nice s casting number 78 here and it has definitely seen better days i think that rod might be too far gone with the rust but it's got some potential there so we'll see how that one comes up got this little 102 that someone was practicing some re-japanning on so turned out pretty nice it wasn't just the bench planes that i picked up because they were broken i also got this one say no to crack boys and girls as block planes go this one was actually pretty cool this is a number 15 so it's the seven inch so it's very similar to the nine and a half but it's seven inches long and i don't know about y'all but i just don't see these too often maybe there's more out there than i know of but it's in pretty decent shape so i did go ahead and pick that one up maybe one day i'll do that block plane video that folks have been asking for did manage to grab some frogs of course the number eight frogs are in high demand especially types five through eight you know that's one of the one of the frogs that's hardest to find and then this is actually what i consider a type nine alpha which is another frog that can be kind of difficult to find and then the bedrock so that's a round side bedrock 608 frog it does have a replacement lateral on it but i think we can work with that and then this is actually a 603 frog so anytime i can pick up especially some of the odd sizes for the bedrock frogs of course i'm always going to do that there's one thing that i sell a lot of it's irons probably because they're consumable meaning they get used up over time so anytime that i have an opportunity to buy irons like this in bulk i am definitely going to jump at that chance so there were a couple different dealers there that had either stacks of irons or there were irons that were just randomly laying around in a crate somewhere and some of these are in just absolutely amazing shape so they were either over cleaned depending on your perspective or they were just cleaned up really really nice some of these might even be a little new old stock and i've got all different sizes here i've got a number of different logos trademarks however you want to look at it as you can see nice v logo there that's a number eight size that's been used a little bit and then a little q logo as i'm going through these if you see something that you need of course patrons y'all get priority but for everybody else if the patrons don't buy them up these are all available i mean every last one of them okay i might keep maybe one or two to put in one of my own planes but i mean look at that that is a beautiful sweetheart nah what is that two and three eighths probably so fit your number six number seven your four and a half i'm just absolutely stunning iron there these were some interesting pickups so if you're familiar with that logo you know that that's the bailey tool company the battle axe as we like to call it so out a wound socket and that was selden bailey bailey tool company not related to leonard bailey if you've seen some of my other videos you've seen me talk about this but of course these go to a spoke shave so there is someone out there and hopefully they watch this video that has a soul for an old bailey tool company spoke shave and needs that specific iron and that specific lever cap so if that's you reach out to me and let's chat last and most certainly not least let's talk about these chamfer planes these number 72s picked up one each day i got one on friday and one on saturday which i was kind of surprised that the saturday one was still there now this one is a parts plane and i know some people are going to get irritated and they're going to go ah the only thing it doesn't have is an original blade well and that knob is pretty questionable but here's the thing i have five different customers that are all looking for original blades for their 72 so unfortunately this one is going to have to be a parts plane because i'm just never going to find six different original blades to fill out all of these 72s for this one and all my customers now this one on the other hand is actually complete now the blade is pretty short but it's original and so this one is going to stay just as it is and it's going to get sold maybe that blade's not as short as it looks maybe it's just shoved down in there let's try that hey that looks a little better so this one is going to get sold as is i would imagine that one of my patrons is probably going to buy this one but that thing is is pretty nice and i got it for an absolutely wonderful price 
Hey, if you're still here, that means you watched the whole video and that means you rock. Thanks for tuning in.